Hello, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Yeah. Here's the link. Uh -huh. Okay, let's, let's hope this works. Uh, just click. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I just posted the link. First of all, uh, tell me, guys, if you can hear me. Because uh, it's like the third time that I'm doing YouTube, and every time I forgot to attach the mic. So let's do like, uh, you hear me? And then I'll tell you about this link that I just posted. Paul, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Thumbs up. That means that you can hear me. That's good. Posted the link um, to book uh, time with me, basically. If you guys and I will talk about it. Uh, if you if you see any value from everything that I bring you, there's a link for uh, 45 minutes, one on one, just me and you over a video, crypto stocks, options, stuff like that. Uh, feel free to check it out and book and yeah. Starting, I don't know, Friday. It's tomorrow is my birthday, basically. I don't know if you guys seen my uh, TikTok. Posted it a couple of hours ago. For me, it went viral. It has like thirty thousand views. Basically, one of uh, my followers, uh, Maria, and I know we, we're TikTok friends. Uh, she followed me and all the crypto talks that I did in the last, uh, I don't know, nine months or so. And she made like $900,000. <laughs> that's that's life-changing money. She invested 75 k I roughly know what she invested in because uh, I've seen her TikTok. She posted in the last couple of months. She, she took from me Ethereum. When Ethereum was uh, about uh, 250, hello Nathan. Ethereum was 250, and now it's uh, uh, 2300, which is crazy. Uh, and Ren, Ren is the most, I think, uh, <clears throat> her bigger bag, uh, Ren. And I talked a lot about Ren, and people don't talk about Ren. It's basically a coin that, that's why Bitcoin exploded. Nobody talks about it. It can explode because before REN, all you have to do, all you could do is just hold the uh, Bitcoin. That's it. Just hold and hope for the price to go up. And once REN came along, you could move uh, Bitcoin using REN, REN virtual machine, something like that. Just go on the website and switch your Bitcoin uh, to like REN uh, BTC and just use it as a as an Ethereum coin, and then you could stake your Bitcoin, and then you can loan yourself Bitcoin. Then you can do so much stuff using your Bitcoin, and all that all that happened because of Ren. So Ren, when I first start to talk about, it, was like 12, 13 cents. It's over a dollar now. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm very happy for her. I will do a part two about this video probably tomorrow or Friday, something like that. But yeah, uh, all all the cryptos that I talked about in uh, months ago, five to fifteen x five is like the minimum, uh, even six is like the minimum Bitcoin. But the rest, ten x, twelve x, fifteen x, Uniswap, Maker, not Maker, Maker two, but five six x, Uniswap, Curve, uh, Friend, Balancer is like seven x. And, and many more. Yuma coin talked about Yuma coin when it was two bucks. It's now on Coinbase for almost 30, like 28. No one cares about Yuma because it's not Dogecoin. People are going over Dogecoin. There's so much money on legit coins. It just how is everyone? Ask me questions. Let me know what's going on. Basically. <clears throat> But this link, uh, yeah, I'm trying to achieve something. Basically, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I should open this. It's too personal. Um, 
I want to see my dad, basically. And, and I don't know if you guys follow me from here or follow me from TikTok. The, the, a lot of uh, my long-term TikTok followers know that my dad is in another country. He has uh, cancer. Uh, it's not good. And in order to see him, I'm in the States. Uh, he's uh, in my home country. And in order to see him, I need to pay how much I owe there? About 30, 30 something thousand dollars. Like that, that I didn't finish paying and couldn't finish paying before I moved to the state. That was like five years ago. And ever since then, interest upon interest upon interest. And so I can't take a plane because they won't let me basically, yeah. So that's a problem. So that's why I have the knowledge, the finance knowledge. And, and as a person, I made mistakes. I sold too early. I just, just life, just life and my dad and everything that I'm going here. So I made this thing instead of just saying, hey, if you guys uh, get any value, I need like uh, 40,000, something like that, 35. Uh, so just uh, give me money. That's not me. That's not the case. Uh, what I did is set this uh, link to basically if someone wants to pick my brand, stocks, options, crypto, staking crypto, passive income, selling options for income, whatever the case, value investing, all the stocks, Excel that I'm doing, whatever the case. So I put the link uh, 45 minutes with me for about uh, $3.97. And I said in my head, okay, so I need like, uh, let's do 100 appointments uh, for like 400 bucks, uh, something like that, 100 people to, to talk to, that's fine. And that basically will get me to the target and I will be able to pay what I need to pay and actually see my dad. Last time I saw him was, uh, I think, June, two years ago, almost two years ago, we're over in April now. <laughs> Two years ago in June, he was fine and I started to deteriorate, not deteriorate, he started to like having the issues September uh, two years ago and it's, uh, you know, it's getting worse. So while all this knowledge that I have in my head, uh, <laughs> it's not really do any good if you don't have a lot of money to invest all of that and make even a lot more. As I mentioned, I'm also human. I sold too early some bags, and but people made any money, a lot of money, and I'm happy for that. And if you guys, you know, if you want to pick my brain, uh, feel free to use the link. Uh, I sign up with this company. I said everything today. Uh, I hope it, it, I'm sure it's working. Like uh, they're legit. I just uh, haven't used them. And as I said, my goal is, uh, you know. 100 appointments, 45 minutes with each, and that will get, get me to my goal. I'm not going to say, hey, I want a Lambo land and all that stuff. Uh, just that's not you. I need you, not me, just in general. I and everyone else, I think to start like, your financial investment life, and I've, I've done it backwards, as always. But to start your financial investment life, you got to become debt-free. Debt-free, not mortgage, like if you buy a real estate investment or a house for yourself, not that. But in order to invest, and I made this mistake so many times, and this time I'm just, tomorrow is my birthday, and I, I'm focusing on clearing all my debt, and then uh, do what I need to do. What does it mean if I have $10,000 to invest in Fiverr, something like that, I'm going to put it on, I don't know, credit card, uh, saving towards this uh, payment that I need to do in Israel, in, uh, in my country uh, to, to see my dad or pay, I don't know, car loans, all that stuff. And if I have money set aside in, in crypto, I uh, probably should uh, sell. And there's long-term gains, short-term gains. There's a lot of tax involved. That's the problem. But let's say you want to start. Let's say, uh, and I'm opening up with you guys. That's uh, <laughs> it's not easy for me. It's not easy because 
as I said, technology is there, but some people have a lot more money and some people have a lot more knowledge. And basically life got me to where I am. That's why I'm trying to uh, fix problem. But as an advice, not a financial advice, as a common sense advice, I would say, and I've never followed this rule, but I I'm starting. If you have money and you never invested, but you also have credit card debt and you have a car loan and you have uh, this and this and you need pay all those first. Pay your credit card, pay your car loans just early instead of five years, 300 bucks a month. If you have, I don't know, extra thousand bucks to start instead of buying a stock or Bitcoin or whatever, put a thousand bucks towards that uh, card payment. Uh, extra put a thousand bucks towards collection if, if, if people have uh, credit card pay all that stuff before you invest because that thousand bucks to invest in uh, I don't know Bitcoin at sixty thousand will not change your life before you pay that credit card debt or before you clear your car payment maybe in two years instead of five and you feel a lot better feel a lot better. And for me, that uh, 35, give or take, that in Israel, that's where I'm from. Uh, some people like it, some people don't, but that, that's where I'm from. I'm not going to apologize for that. That's my priority now, not stocks, not, uh, uh, not, not crypto. Doesn't mean I don't have the knowledge, just mean that every extra money that I have, I, I, I got to see my dad before it's, uh, it's too late, basically. That's... Uh, let me take some water and uh, let me read. So this was a good uh, intro. Let's see what, uh, what you guys wrote. Uh, I saw you on TikTok, a JTD. I have Stellar. I love Stellar Lumens, Ripple. Uh, <laughs> Ripple is Ripple. Cardano, Ethereum, and sad to say Dogecoin. Don't say, sad to say, Dogecoin. Look at this uh, today. Dogecoin, I hate Dogecoin. I don't hate. It just, it's not. If it goes up, that's the whole point. It doesn't matter if the coin is a scam or not. If it goes up and you sell at a profit, why does it matter if it's a scam or not? Same for Ripple, but XRP Ripple is a completely different story. I'm extremely sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. What do you think about Litecoin? Uh, also, keep your head up. You have helped me a lot with stocks and crypto. I will book an appointment soon. Need to get into options. Thank you for that, Nathan. Uh, Litecoin, I did a TikTok about it, like, I think like two, three months ago, and it was 80 bucks. I don't like Litecoin. I uh, ne never have, never, never will. But uh, Litecoin was at, uh, how much is it now? Like 200 plus, I think. I'm probably wrong. It's probably more because I don't follow Litecoin. It was 80 bucks. It was 80 bucks. And I said on that uh, TikTok, I said, if you're an average investor, new investor to crypto in the US, and you don't know what to invest, but all you hear is Bitcoin. And Bitcoin at the time was, I think, like uh, 20, 30,000, something like that. Uh, like three months ago. You're an average investor or your friends, everyone that you hear saying Bitcoin, 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 it's 30,000. You go to Coinbase because you're in the US and that's like 99% they have monopoly. They did an IPO today, which was uh, like a hundred billion dollar uh, market cap, uh, basically. But that's uh, not the point. So I said on that video, I said, if you're an average person, you go on Coinbase and you see, ah, I open an account, a Bitcoin, $30,000, too much, not touching that. What is that? Bitcoin cash. It has the word Bitcoin in it. And that's like 400 bucks. Okay. That's better than Bitcoin. That's like how the average person thinks new investor to crypto. And then they see Litecoin. What's that? That's uh, like a sort of a Bitcoin, Litecoin, maybe Bitcoin, but faster. 80 bucks. I'll buy that. Uh, a week or two later, it was uh, 
120 and now it's uh, like 200 plus and that's it and that's then that's why it jumped up uh i don't know three four x since then the last two or three months that's the only reason uh it's never gonna be bitcoin but it's gonna go up because if you're a new person this is the cheapest version of bitcoin in your head so you say instead of buying bitcoin at sixty thousand or bitcoin cash i don't know how much bitcoin cash is now like four or five hundred something you buy litecoin because that's the cheapest version it's it's crazy how simple it is that's how people think and that's why it went up but in general i don't like litecoin but if it goes up this is why it goes up in my opinion as long as it goes up people are happy thanks for this gems master teacher you're welcome my friend happy birthday thank you paul that's tomorrow uh i'm in the east coast i'm probably gonna do like a day trip uh, with myself basically uh in boston basically that's uh that's my key here <clears throat> tomorrow the whole day and see my son in the evening have some ice cream with him that's gonna be good how is life uh, in israel uh <laughs> It's pretty good. Uh, what you see on the news or hear on the news, it's uh, it's 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 like I don't know one or two percent or something from the entire country. It's not even. Uh, it's like they they don't show you life. They don't show you the real life. It, it's it's a great country to to visit. It's a great country to visit. The weather is great. Everything is expensive, just like in here, in the states. Uh, yeah. What coin should one be invested in now that have potential? Uh, I get this question a lot lately. Again, just my opinion. I'm not buying. I'm not buying crypto today. Uh, all my buyings were, you know, all my buyings were almost a year ago, uh, seven, eight, nine months ago. I prefer to buy Ethereum at uh, 250 instead of 2,300. Bitcoin was too expensive to buy at 10,000. It's over 60 now, and everyone are buying now at 60. Uh, you know, and all the coins that they talked about, they did 10 plus X in the last couple of months. Uh, I don't see a point getting in today. And of course, it could be wrong this could go parabolic but you know it is what it is i'm not i'm not comfortable buying coins now uh when i know the prices were like uh, 10x less uh, like uh, i don't know less than six months ago that's basically it uh i'm invested in a penny stock okay R G R R E G R F. that is taking in polka dot on cardano okay if you were to choose which stock, would you go with Fiverr or Fubu? Uh, not a financial advice, but Fiverr all the way. If, if I had to pick one stock from all the stocks in the world as of today, it's Fiverr. Doesn't matter what you tell me, it's Fiverr. Uh, but that's just me. People will say, go put your money in Apple, Amazon, all that. Coinbase. I want to invest in Coinbase, but the goal for me, and some of you already know my philosophy, the goal for me is to take, uh, let's start with stocks. You take a stock between one to $10 billion, and from this pool, which one has the biggest potential to reach 100 billion? Not a trillion, 100 billion. Which company could be the most, like, which company can go from either around five, six, seven, eight billion dollar market cap? And this is Fubu and Fiverr and Jamaya and a few others. Which from those can go to a hundred billions in the next couple of years, which is I don't know, 12, 13 X from now. That's the only goal. I don't see, I don't know, buying Apple at uh, 2.67 trillion dollar market cap. What's it gonna do to me? It's gonna give me 10 X. 25 30 trillion dollar in the next couple of years no it's not gonna happen and again it's all depends on your money level if you have i don't know 
10,000 or less, I would, I'm sticking to this strategy. Take, uh, pick something at around 10 billion and aim for 100 billion. If you have, I don't know, 100,000, stick to the apples, stick to Quill DTF for 11, 12% uh, dividend yield. It's all about the money. The less you have, in my opinion, the more aggressive you need to be. But that's just me. There's no point of putting a thousand bucks on an Apple stock. 20 years from now, where is it going to take you? Let's say they, they double. And double, think about Apple to double. That means they're going to be $5 trillion market. Let's go crazy. Let's say they will forex your money. They will go to $10 trillion market cap. $10 trillion in 20 years. That's insane. Your thousand bucks will become 4,000. Let's say you reinvested your dividends. That's, uh, I don't know, uh, extra, I don't know, two, three, four hundred bucks. This is going to change your life? No. But take that thousand bucks. And again, only if you have a thousand, that's not enough to change your life. You, put, you pick a stock that could do from, I don't know, seven billion to a hundred billion market cap. And then from a hundred billion market cap five years from now, uh, it can go to like 200 or 250 billion. That's like 30, 40 x your money. Is it gonna let change your life? Thousand to like three, four, 30, 40 thousand more than Apple, sure, but those are your options. And if you invest 10,000, just add another zero to that, basically. <coughs> I hope this helps. Uh, yeah, so that, that's just my uh, investment philosophy. The less money you have, the more aggressive I am. That's why I got into crypto. There's no point. If I got a thousand bucks, I prefer to, to buy, I don't know, uh, Ethereum like a year ago instead of a thousand bucks on uh, Amazon a year ago. Where is this and where is that right now? <clears throat> Potential is different. Where is Bitcoin going from here? I don't know. Uh, nobody knows. It's insane. 60,000 plus. I never thought it would hit uh, over 50. Never in my dreams I thought it would hit over 50. And now it seems like the norm that it's 60 plus. Now, all those giant analysts, JP Morgan, all those big banks saying it's going to go to half a million, give or take. I don't know. I don't think so. But, yeah. It's just insane. Uh, do I like Tattoo Chef? No. No, no, no. Uh, no. And I did a video about it, and I got a lot of hate. What's the price now? I did a video, and it was around 21 22 and he said that uh, I'm not buying uh, cauliflower pizza for $15. I'm not me, and uh, maybe once, but that's it. But if you're an average family of four, for example, and you go to Walmart because there's so many unemployment people without a job, they're not going to buy $15 uh, bucks uh, cauliflower pizza. They're going to buy the, I don't know, two for five or two for eight. Uh, pizza for and feed their kids uh, dinner. Uh, that's it with the other brands. And I said also that I love Beyond Meat a lot better than uh, Tattoo Chef. And of course, I got a lot of hate. Same as the hate that I got from posting about Neo at 60 bucks. That's too much. Volunteer, it's too much at like 30, etc. etc. So FUBU, Fiverr, Jamaya are good stocks to try and get rich. You can't really get rich with the, uh, depends on the investment amount. I'll, I'll tell you a sentence that I heard from Tony Robbins and the change your mindset a little. He said, uh, Tony Robbins said, um, <clears throat> if you have $10,000, it's baby's money. It's like babies. It's nothing. It's like kids play. It's Lego. It's Monopoly. It's absolutely nothing. If you live in the States and you have $10,000, you should not be happy. That's nothing. 
that 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 doesn't get you anywhere. That's like two two maybe three months of living, max. If you lose your job, if you don't have any income, and you have ten thousand dollars set aside somewhere, stocks, crypto, savings, whatever the case, that's three months of living. That's it. That is it. Ten thousand dollars will not change your life. And when he said, when uh, when I heard that from uh, I don't know, YouTube Tony Robbins stuff, um, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, people are aiming. How do I get ten thousand dollars? That's not. That should not be your goal. Your goal should be. This is me. This is my age. How much do I need to retire? Uh, just uh, and when do I need? Then when do I want to retire? And how much money I need monthly for that? How do I get there? What's the number? So let's say you just throw away, I don't know, I want a million bucks in the next uh, 10 years to retire when I'm, I don't know, 10 years from now. Okay, what are you going to do with a million bucks? And how far is it going to get you? In the USA, it's not going to get you far. So people also don't realize that a million bucks is not going to get you far. However, if you have a million dollar cash, no. But if you have a million dollar uh, invested in, uh, I don't know, quilt, for example, that's like ten thousand dollars a month. A year, a month, yeah, a month, like uh twelve percent. That's a hundred twenty thousand a year. So how do you get to a million bucks, for example? And ten thousand a month is good. I assume yes. I assume you can live on ten thousand dollars a month. How do you get to a million bucks? Well, let's say you start with what ten thousand. Okay, you need a hundred x. How do you a hundred x your money with ten thousand dollars? If you buy 10 stocks, each one is a thousand bucks, you need one of them to do 1,000x return in 10 years because you want to return in 10 years. Can it happen? Most likely you will not pick the right one. Probably if you say, I'm buying Palantir now, it's going to do 1,000x. I'm buying Bitcoin now, it's going to do 1,000x. No, it's not. It's not going to do. Look at the numbers. Uh, the, how many trillions is uh, Bitcoin and Palantir is like 40 billion, 50 billion market cap or NEO at uh, 50 billion market cap. You think a thousand X from here, that's five trillion dollar for those two. It's a pipe dream. Could be wrong, but that doesn't make financially sense. So you got to pick the ones. I also like uh, what what's they're called? F-U-V, Archimodo. Uh, it's like four or five hundred million uh, market cap. FUV is the ticker symbol. Not a financial advice. They're building like electric car, like free wheel vehicle, electric car, something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's another option. And I have a few others, but uh, basically you need to reverse engineer how much I need a month to retire. When do I need to retire? And what do I need to invest in order to get there? Most likely, the answer will not be go buy Amazon or Apple stock or diversify with 10, 15 picks. That's not how it's, that's not where you're going to get there. Hope this helps. And again, my opinion only. Let's see what else we got. Uh huh. Fantastic point. Thank you. Especially about paying off the debt first. Yeah. yeah. I still have credit card debts, and but. My my main my main issue is the the debt in Israel. That's like when you have debt, it looms over your head. You think about it, and and then you think, oh oh man, I have extra money now. What do I do? I go buy a stock. Go buy buy a crypto instead of, and and then you struggle. Damn, I have this. I need to pay this. So I, you know how good you will feel once your car payment is paid off. Before you invest your money in stock script or whatever, that feelings of free debt free is is priceless. It's it's priceless. It's a lot better than checking your uh, Robinhood account every I don't know five minutes or less. Check what you're investing. A lot better. If you have a car payment with like five years left, four years, three years doesn't matter, and you paid it off. It's a different feeling. It's a different feeling. What do I think is going to happen to the value of the dollar if we don't buy Bitcoin? 
So two, two different questions. So what do I think is going to happen to the value of dollar? It's already happened. It become useless, worthless. They're printing it like it's uh, do like it's water, and prices of everything goes up. And it has nothing to do with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not gonna check exchange the dollar. Just Bitcoin is like the number one crypto, but it has nothing to do with the dollar. Dollar is useless. You go to the grocery store, everything is insanely expensive. You see that. Um, that's basically it. And Bitcoin is Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm at $400,000, but I can't beat the market. Uh, Tattoo Chef is killing me. Uh, Mr. Scott, go watch my uh, Tattoo Chef video. And what's the price now? 18 Okay, so I did a video and it was 21, got a lot of eight, and now it's uh, 18. Everything went down the last two months, but, you know, I, I don't see the value in Tattoo Chef. I, I, I'm trying to understand why people like Tattoo Chef so much. I'm trying to get it. You go buy cauliflower pizza and you're going to pay 15 bucks. Do you think this is a sustainable model in the USA today? As an average person that goes to the grocery stores and buy uh, food for their family, are they gonna buy a fifteen dollar cauliflower pizza? Or are they gonna buy, I don't know, another brand? There's so many like there's like a hundred brands selling pizza for five, six, seven bucks in every every store. TTF TTCF is mm. William. I love the content and your breakdowns. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. If you double one thousand dollars for ten times, it will be over uh, one million. Sure, in theory, everything is uh, is great. Uh, easier, uh, harder to do. Easier said than done. <laughs> Most of their sales are frozen balls. Five dollar for microwave meal. Okay, doesn't change my perspective, and I'm sure. I know for a fact there's a tons of competition for that as well. So I'm not here to change people's mind. That's not the point. I just love Beyond Meat a lot better, and I don't see the two shit. I could be wrong, but that's that's my thinking. What else do people want? We reached the last uh, of the questions. It was uh, nice. 30 minutes. Feel free to ask more, guys. If not, I will wrap stuff up. <clears throat> and also please check the link that I posted in the beginning uh, yeah and uh, feel free to book 45 minutes with me talk whatever that you want crypto stocks options and pick my brain a little bit it will help me reach my goal and it's a uh, good value it's good value basically uh, yeah thank you for that uh, what my thoughts on Disney they were profitable last quarter with parks 25%, no cruise lines. Once we break out of COVID, I think they can be a big winner. Yeah, I did a video about Disney a couple of months ago. It was around 170, I think, something like that. And I said I'm super bullish on Disney. Again, Disney is a, it's a big blue chip, big market cap. It's not going to change your financial life forever if you have a small amount. If you have a big amount, that's a different story. They have the Disney Plus. That's where the money is. The, the, they were profitable, less profit, not because of the parks, uh, because of Disney Plus, because of the subscription base. And that's going to grow and grow and grow. And that subscription, Disney is a forever stock. And keep going to go up. Is it going to give you uh, 10 plus X on your money? That's, that's the question that, that, that I'm asking. And for me, uh, I don't know. I, I think there's other options for the amount specific amount of money that I have. The more money you have, the more free you can be with big, large chips. Disney is very solid, in my opinion. <clears throat> Please analyze Coinbase IPO. <laughs> Add, ah, the financials. Ah, you know what? Let me write it down. That's a good, good point. Coinbase. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll add it to my list. I don't think uh, Yahoo Finance have all the details. I'm sure their uh, website has it. 
uh, somewhere. But uh, yeah, that they, they they posted like a billion dollar profit in the last quarter or something. I saw it on uh, on the news a couple of days ago. Coinbase is great, but again, they started today and they already at a hundred billion dollar, give or take. And my goal is to take to find a company that could do ten plus x to reach to a hundred billion. And sometimes some stocks are just not meant for the average person, unfortunately. If you want to achieve what you want to achieve, if you just want to make, I don't know, 10%, 20% a year, something like that, which is great, but it's not going to change your life with a thousand bucks, five thousand, or, or ten thousand. Uh, eventually, maybe, but not in the next couple of years. Uh, so basically, if I have to choose between Coinbase at $100 billion or another company at $7, $8 billion that could go to $100 billion, I will go with a small company if I have a small amount of money to invest. And that's just my philosophy. But I will do a Coinbase uh, analyze, definitely, once uh, Yao yeah, have some uh, details. How close are you to seeing your dad? <clears throat> Not close at all. Not close at all. Haven't seen him uh, in two years. Uh, can't get. I can't go into the country until I fix that uh, debt. Basically, just thank you for asking. Explanation on staking. That's uh, is is it the future compared to mining staking? I did a couple of uh, Patreon posts months ago. That's a definitely a one on one, my friend. That's a one on one. Uh, I used to have a balancer pool. I love balancer. I used to stake uh, Ethereum Maker. It was like 60, 40, something like that. That was great. Still is. Balancer is, is a great uh, pool. Uniswap is a great place to stake. I don't like sushi. Curve is a great place to stake, uh, especially stable coins. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a good idea. If you want a book, we can uh, discuss further about that. That's a that's a great topic. Staking crypto. Thoughts on match? I have a uh, match uh, Tinder thumbnails already done, and just waiting for me to do the analysis. But that's a great, uh, gr great, uh, great stock at like forty billion dollar market. Great stock. You just buy Tinder and Cupid uh, all under the match umbrella. I think they have Cupid. I know they have Tinder, which is crazy. And it's also a motley full recommendation uh, from like years ago. It was like 15, 20 bucks or something like that. It's like 140, 150. I don't know how much is it now. Uh, yeah. And so they're only going to grow. Match is only going to grow. It's a great, that's a great company to hold. It's not less than 10 billion, but that's a great uh, growth company, Match, uh, match.com. Which a match uh, like Tinder, MTCH is the symbol. Deep state is not going to open the world unless we are all forced vaccinated. Unfortunately, I uh, I, I think that's uh, that's where we headed. I'm not gonna let you fly internationally at least, and do yeah. That's uh, I think that's that's uh, that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna force us to get a vaccine whether we like it or not. <clears throat> One more off-topic questions. Yeah, feel free. I get my finance degree next year. Cool. Is it easy to find a job in this field? You want me to tell you the truth? Um, no, it's not easy at all. I have an MBA in finance. Uh, my specialty is the stock market, but I got my MBA in Israel. Maybe that's why. Uh, and no, I haven't worked in an MBA finance job in the U.S. ever. I worked at the bank, but I didn't need an MBA for that. Uh, no, it's super hard to get uh, any job, and especially if you qualify now. If you qualify, that's even harder because no one uh, wants to hire you for the amount of money that you deserve because you have your degree. It's uh, it's rough. It's rough out there. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Uh, you get your finance degree, and I assume millions of others have their finance degree, 
uh, that are finishing their degree with you. Probably millions of others have a finance degree that uh, graduated last year, and a year before that, and a couple of years before that. And they're all fighting for the same few positions that are out there for the specific degree that you have. No, it didn't help me. It helped me with my knowledge, but uh, to land the job that's specifically for my finance degree, no, not in the US. In Israel, yes. In here, no. Sorry, man. Just uh, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope you will find your uh, finance job very easily, but reality is, is harsh uh, for any degree right now. Just what's the deal with AMD? They have been trading sideways for months. And, uh, that, that, what's wrong with that? I buy a stock and I hold it for years just because it didn't do, I don't know, 4x in, uh, in a few months, just like the 2020 doesn't change facts. Uh, AMD and I did a video and we found the fair value was around 120, 130, if I remember. You can watch my channel for that. Sideways, uh, it's about 80 bucks. That's uh, eventually it will break. Eventually it will break. And again, AMD, if I remember correctly, is also almost at the 100 billion market cap. When you buy a stock, you got to think what's your end goal. You got to think what's your end goal. Congrats on your call on Walmart. I bought at 127, now it's 138. Yeah, Walmart, the valuation was, go watch the videos, it's like three times that, and that, and that's for Walmart. And eventually, I don't know if it's going to happen, but eventually it, they, they might do that. And then Walmart is a forever stock. It's not... It's not going to change my financial life forever, but it's a forever stock. And yeah, I, I'm glad you bought uh, Walmart at 127 It's a great, great price. Hopefully. We don't know the future. We just know what should happen. Are you familiar with PYR? I feel like this is the kind of stock you are talking about. No, I don't know what P uh, PYR is. Thank you. No problem. Uh, you're welcome. Follow Biontech, BNTX. Nope. I absolutely love your channel. Thank you, Mr. Rob. Thanks for the Buffett spreadsheet. Yep. It has really helped me make better choices on entry point. I got 15 shares of Fiverr at 185. Good for you. That was uh, super low like two weeks ago. It's 225 now. Already 15% up in, in the last 10 days or something. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Mr. Rob. Uh, book and help my guy out. He's helped the community, so give back. Thank you, brother. I have the 135 Walmart calls, I assume. Yep. That's good. Okay. More questions, guys. More questions before we wrap this up. Was a good uh, good chat, <clears throat> but yeah, basically, my focus now. First of all, tomorrow is my birthday, so I will not go live, but I will. Uh, hopefully, after that, starting Friday, ideally, I will go live every day at eight thirty p.m. Eastern, and just build some consistency in TikTok, in, in TikTok, in YouTube lives. I'll, I'll keep posting more, just had a lot of uh, life issues. But my goal right now is to fix the situation in Israel and just uh, see, see, see my family. Not just my dad, which I want to see him before, hopefully it's not too late. Um, but there's my mom, there's my brother, there's my uncle, aunts, so nieces, nephews. Haven't seen anyone for almost two years, I just said, so... That's uh, that's where I'm at. That, that's my next goal. And while I'll talk about crypto and stocks and, and options and income from all of that, staking, all well and good. I'm just not going to participate active, actively and say, I'm buying this or I'm buying that. Because my goal now, clear the debt, uh, 35, something like that, debt in Israel, and and just see my family. 
basically see my dad. That's uh, that that's my goal. No, not and uh, and uh, the stocks will be here. That there's always this FOMO. Hey, if I don't buy now, I could have missed out because I make this payment. And and that's what I always thought. I said, I have this extra thousand bucks. Should I pay uh, extra? I don't know, couple of car payments, or should I buy this stock? And I always bought this stock, this crypto, this that, this that, and that's wrong. That's wrong. You you always have to pay your debt first. S stocks will be here. You're not gonna buy the top. You're not gonna buy the bottom. And just if you pay off your debt first, that that you're gonna feel so much better, and you're you're gonna be so so much less stress. Just I can't emphasize that enough. That's the biggest lesson for me. Uh, in the last couple of years <clears throat> i hit the like button thank you mr william thank you for the honesty you have a great channel thank you mr scott uh for use how many shares would be ideals you 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 is the uranium uh for me it's the, my number one pick as the uranium play uh everyone are talking about green energy and green energy is uranium uh nobody likes that and nobody knows that but Uranium makes, I don't know, 75, 80% of the clean energy in the world, something like that. Uh, yeah. You, you, I uh, start to see them about $1.70. It's like six bucks now. The insiders have been bought, have bought a lot in the last couple of months, basically. You know, it is what it is. Uh, I love you, 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 you. That's uh, that's a uranium play for the next decade plus. Just my opinion. Happy birthday, thank you, Mr. Rob. I bought Dogecoin. Okay, uh, April. Uh, okay, ah, on on, on January on Dogecoin, one cent. Now it's twelve cents. Cool, 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 cool. Where can I buy the spreadsheet? Uh, on all of my videos, there's uh, in the description if, of each video, there's a couple of links. Uh, one of them is the value investment spreadsheet. It's like 20 bucks. You can uh, grab a copy. Uh, so every video that you just watch, just click on the description and see the stuff. Happy birthday, Mr. Ziv. Thank you. Our prayers go to you and your family for your father. Thank you, Kevin. What's the difference between Bitcoin USD and Bitcoin Cash? Uh, Bitcoin is uh, sixty thousand dollars; it's the number one, and Bitcoin Cash is, uh, you know, it's it's a fork. If I remember correctly, it's a fork of Bitcoin from a few years ago. Uh, I don't know what value it is, other than it's cheaper than Bitcoin, and that's why it's going up. But I'm not touching Bitcoin Cash. Never have, never will. What's an ideal market cap for ten X? Uh, uh, five to ten billion, five to ten billion uh, dollar market cap stock, I assume. Uh, and you have to pick the right one that has a great, great hyper growth potential. Happy birthday, compadre! Thank you. Have a nice trip. Thank you, Mr. Oscar. I'm big on uranium, yeah, AAZ, GXU. Toronto Venture Exchange. Happy birthday. Thank you. Welcome, William. Thank you, JTD. Thank you, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, again, please check the link at the beginning. If I bring you value, feel free to book a 45 minutes appointment with me. Uh, it will help uh, greatly, and I will provide value, of course, only if you gain value. Uh, yeah. Basically, support the channel and buy the Buffett spreadsheet. That's 20 bucks investment. Could be worth 1000 That too. Thank you, Mr. Rob. Thank you, guys. And hopefully, we'll see you uh, Friday at 8.30 p.m. Thank you, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.